55 this Wednesday afternoon. We are counting down the days to Mother's Day. Yeah, did you get your gift yet for mom? Uh, if she's watching from Philadelphia, I don't want to spoil it. Just, just write it down. I like to, to leave her in anticipation. I'll, I'll let you know if it's a good gift. Okay, that's fair. All right, Rain, <laughs> how, always how about, a good gift, but also whatever you guys are making today on the show, great gift. <laughs> well, yes indeed, and we're gonna tell you first of all how to get a free breakfast. Yes. That'd be a pretty neat gift. <laughs> Absolutely, and it is a wild Wednesday here. So we've got Amanda Winter from Once in a Wild here with some of her cute little animals. Who are these guys? These guys are two-year-old red-footed tortoises. Their names are Rocket and Jet. Aren't Aww. they adorable? They're so cute. And they live to be <laughs> ripe old age. They right? sure do, up to around 70 years. Mm -hmm. They get a lot bigger than this. <laughs> All right, well, the other day I had a chance to chat with David Foster and Catherine McPhee. They are coming to town tomorrow night at the Tobin Center, and you're going to hear from them. Great to chat with them. And Jen is out live if you're looking for a unique experience for mom. That's right, there are things you do every day, right? Push the stroller, get in the vehicle, but what do you do when somebody tries to attack you? We'll show you some techniques to keep you safe. Wow. That'll work up an appetite. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Alamo Biscuit Company is here, and look at this. Oh, heavens to Betsy is all I have to say. <laughs> they are debuting a new menu item. We're going to tell you all about that. All right. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Very quickly, one more uh, traffic alert for you. We're still watching that incident there. Southbound I-35 getting on 410. Still has traffic backed up. It looks like it uh, still is partially closed down there, and traffic is uh, backed up in a big way along I-35 as you look off to the northeast side of town. So if you're traveling down I-35, expect some big delays until you get to 410. Very quickly, your forecast. 87 tomorrow, just a 20% chance rain, 40% chance Friday. We bump it up to an 80% chance Saturday. Heavy rain, a distinct possibility during the day on Saturday. Ooh, this graphics keeping you busy, Justin. Yes, they yeah. are. There's a lot of lightning in there. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much. That is it for us here on the News at Noon. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Well, hello and happy Wild Wednesday. <laughs> We've got brand new friends in the studio today. Fifth graders from Harlandale ISD's Gifted and Talented Program. Hey there, guys! Hi! <laughs> Welcome. We are so glad you could be here today. So we've got all of them, and we have got some snakes. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. Your favorite. Your Yay. favorite. Okay, yes. You... Our friend Amanda Winter, of course, owner of Once in a Wild, is here. I'll move this way. Yes, you move that okay, way. Okay, I'll move I don't this care way. If I'm down the shot. I'll move this way. <laughs> okay. All no. right. So, Amanda, of course, uh, she brings the zoo to you, if you will. I have. Right? I have brought the zoo to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're going to be starting over here right now with these guys. So, yeah. who are they? So, you have a Rocket right there. He's one of our baby red footed tortoises. He's about two years old. Mm -hmm. We do have four of them total um, in our collection. These are the two youngest. They're two. And they can live a long time, like we mentioned earlier, right? Remember yeah. how long they live? Uh, 60, to 60, 60 to 70 years. 60 to 70, yes ma'am. I got it sure first. do. They live <laughs> a long time. Now a lot of times people when they think of like the Galapagos giant tortoises down there, how big will these guys get? They don't get nearly as big as the Galapagos tortoises, but they are actually cousins to the Galapagos tortoise. Um, Galapagos get, I mean, upwards of 400 to 500 pounds, huge, and they live up to 200 years. So they keep growing forever and just get huge. These guys, not as long of a lifespan, right? So they're going to stay pretty small. So oh. they're going to probably grow no bigger than 20 pounds. And they're healthy because they like to eat their salad, right? Yeah, so tortoises are actually herbivores. So they eat nothing but um, grass and flowers and fruits and all kinds of things in their natural environment. You want, you want a little salad there? They it's don't really eat good. other animals. That's another <laughs> big difference between them and turtles. Oh, turtles yeah. eat, oh, okay. Turtles actually eat other animals and sometimes animals and plants. Oh. So omnivores or carnivores for turtles. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Next, Next we have. Mike's favorite. Yeah. Yes, my favorite animal, <laughs> snakes. Yeah. So this is actually um, Sterling. She's one of our Texas Baird's rat snakes. Where do you think they come from? West Texas. 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 Hooray. <laughs> you study or you pay attention. They are the Texas Bears. Yes, we they are. We're ready for the pop quiz, <laughs> That is correct. It's not a quick, quick question this time, but you never know with me. Um, but these guys are a rat snake. So what do you think they eat? Rats. rats. Rodents. So not really rats at this size, right? Because rats are too big for this 
particular individual. Um, she is pretty small, um, but they can grow around four to five feet and they can eat smaller rodents like mice. So not really rats for these guys, but other members of the rat snake family may be able to eat small rats. So if something like this were kind of hiding underneath your shed or near the garage, yeah. that's, that's pretty good to have in the yard, right? They're to excellent keep those... to have around. Snakes in general are wonderful for eliminating pests in, out of our environment. Um, they mean you no harm, even the venomous type. You want to leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But of course, these guys are non-venomous. Now that you're holding it, I told you that. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Non-venomous, <laughs> they are. <laughs> I, I'm glad you trust me. Uh, they are a harmless snake to humans, 100%. Okay, okay now we have got, if I oh, can yeah. come, come here. I, you, I held you before. Come here. There you're we go. You're doing a great okay. job. See? Thank you. What is I this? I don't know if I could hold that. That is amazing. Okay. I don't mind this. See? That's, you don't mind that. Okay. This that is, is a cool critter, isn't it? What is it, Mike? It is a vinegaroon. Very good. Vinegaroon. These guys are actually in the arachnid family. At first glance, they do look like an insect. They behave a little bit like an insect, but they're related to spiders, scorpions, ticks, and mites. Because right offhand, I only see six legs, and it looks like there's a couple of antenna right yeah, there. Yeah, you would think so at first glance, but those are actually the first set of legs. And they don't walk on them, but they use them kind of like for feelers. And they even have a feeler in the back called a flagellum that looks like a tail, mm -hmm. and that helps oh. them to feel um, maybe something approaching them from behind in the dark. They are nocturnal, so they're gonna wander around in the dark hunting uh, juicy roaches and all kinds of things that they, they hunt. Which, and they use the little pincer Type things to yes, kind of scoop they're kind of like pinchers of a scorpion, a little bit uh -huh. different. They're more like a kind of a scooping maneuver, and they have little spikes on the inside. But they're harmless to human. Okay. But they're I have one, never um, seen one. I know they're super yeah. cool. Most people don't know about them, but they are actually another Texan native. And one thing that they do to defend themselves is they actually spray a little puff of acidic acid that smells like pickles. So her pickles. name is Pickles. Okay. Pickles. Okay. 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 There you go. That's their defense against uh, predators. All right, we got. What about this guy? Yes. <laughs> Can you see him behind his? bowl of food. This is Cooper. He's our male opossum. He is a big boy, isn't he? Uh, male opossums are a lot bigger than female opossum. This is an opossum, not a possum. You know the difference, right? Maybe a little bit. This is North America and the other, the other one's one. Australian? That's right. So okay. possums come from Australasia, so Australia and surrounding islands, right? Um, these guys come from, uh, well, North America, but also into Mexico as well a little bit. And the opossum has many different species as well in South America, but this is the Virginia opossum. Not just found in Virginia, found all over the United States and Canada and Mexico, like I said. Um, these guys are wonderful animals. They are actually get a really bad rep for being a rodent, but they're not. They're marsupials like the kangaroo. So this is our one marsupial here in the U.S. <laughs> now, when people see these in the bag, because they are kind of urban dwellers. Definitely. And they think, oh my gosh, I've got to buy, oh, that's the worst thing. It's but a pest, right? They yeah, think it's a pest, they're, it's they're dangerous. They're very passive. These guys do a lot of good by cleaning up um, leftovers from other animals. That could be rotting meat. That could be poisonous plants. That could also be any type of insect. So these guys would eat vinegaroon, potentially, but they might eat things like um, uh, roaches and ticks that are harmful to us if there's too many of those. So they and help they, us out a lot. And they okay. can't get rabies, right? They don't get rabies. Their body temperature is too cold to carry most viruses. They really don't contract any viruses. And you know what they do when they get real scared? Play possum. They play, they play, oh, play old possum. possum. Oh, possum. <laughs> they play dead, they faint, and they are just kind of like pacifists. They don't really bite or attack at all. Grab your last animal yes. right okay, now. Okay, it sounds we're, good. We're kind of we have a short really on cool one. Right now. And Not this is our other animals are largest cool, toad. But I'm really excited about this last one because she's a brand new oh. one to us. This is Tina, the cane toad. And she is a, well, the largest species of toad on the planet. These guys are actually pretty famous animals. You know anything about them? Oh. The toad, of course, so it's amphibian. Okay. Um, toads are drier than frogs, that's the main difference. And toads usually don't swim as much of, as a frog does, but some toads can swim a little bit. She's actually a type of toad that could swim a little bit. They're also known as the marine toad for that fact. They're native to Central and South America, but they're highly invasive to other uh, continents and countries, such as Australia. Uh, they get their name the cane toad from the sugar cane out in Australia, the sugar cane fields. There was a problem with beetles and larvae eating the sugar cane, and uh, these guys were put there to uh, eliminate the beetles, but it didn't go very well. <laughs> if you would like Amanda to bring, she's got a uh, hundred different animals, animals or more, many different species. Different species. And if you'd like to have them come to your party or school, or whatever it is, you can do a little shopping list and <laughs> she will, yeah, <laughs> she will That's bring them to awesome. you. Thank you so much, Amanda. You're Thank welcome, you. as always. For more information on Once in a While, just head to our website. You know what to do. Just head to essaylive.com, click on that uh, QR code right there, or scan that QR code. Okay, now, social question. Mother's Day coming up here. Uh, we want to know, you know, we've all done things where mom, geez, God, really. <laughs> 
you put that thing away? No. We have all done things where mom has forgiven us. Did you do something as a kid where mom forgave you? What'd you Are do? Are you going to forgive me? <laughs> no. I'm um, not your mother. I was actually... <laughs> I was actually in my late 20s when I came home for a visit and accidentally flooded a portion of the house. A portion or a lot of it? A portion. A portion. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. We'll just leave that story alone yep. there, but let us know and we we'll hope to share those. All right. If you're looking for some unique experience for Mother's Day or any day of the year, how about considering a self-defense class to keep snakes away? So. Yes, our Jen Tobias Strasky is an STW Krav Maga self-defense and fitness with the pros, learning the ropes with some of the most skilled team members. Hey there, Jen. Hello. Yes, so important, right? We're out and about. We don't know what's coming. And some, most of us, I know I didn't before I came here today, we don't know where to start, what to do, right? So we have some help today. I have Jen Hardy joining me here at STW Krav Maga and Fitness. Hello, Jen. Hello. <laughs> so we have um, obviously different places here that you guys do your techniques. Today, we are going to learn more about what you do. It's not just self-defense, but tell me a little background. Yeah, so we are actually a self-defense and fitness-based facility, and we are family-owned and operated. And our program is completely based in Krav Maga. And Krav Maga is an Israeli self-defense system where there is no holds barred. You do whatever you need to do to get out of the situation, which is why my father, Pete, the owner, loved the system. Because there isn't, you can't do this, you can't do that, or you have to do this. You do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself and get out of the situation safely. Okay, got it. Now, we're going to do some demonstrations, we are gonna right? Because we want to see more of that. Uh, you got a preview earlier, right, when somebody attacked me. But tell me what we're going to see here. We'll let them go ahead and do the demonstration first. Yeah, we're going to go full speed first. Wow. Nicely done, guys. Wow. Two of our amazing instructors. <laughs> so now so, we'll go slow. Yeah, yes. now we're going to break it down a little bit more. So as you can see, what's happening is her mouth's getting covered. Her breath is, is most important right here. She's going to pluck, bring that down to be able to breathe and turn in and use that momentum that she's got coming, being pulled back and then come up and use whatever combatives she can to get to those soft parts of the body that are going to hurt a lot to get out of there. Got it. Okay. Well done, guys. Yes. So now we went. Now you, <laughs> you are going to try this. And Mondo, you saw him earlier. If you watched the tease, now he did walk me through this. So don't worry. At home, I have a better idea of kind of what to do. So, all right. Whenever you're ready, Mondo. <laughs> and then run, Whoa. run, run. Right. That's right. Get out of okay. there. Get away. Good job. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, these are things, again, that you teach and that it's just so important to know. But even earlier, you okay, Mondo? I'm sure he's great. <laughs> he's great. Uh, but just telling me to pull, because we did this earlier, my hands went back like that, yep. right? So so tell me about why that's so important, just learning, even just pulling down, right? Well, think about it. What's the, most, what's the biggest danger that's happening when he first grabbed you? He was covering my mouth. And how is that a problem? I can't scream for help. And? And I... You may not be able to... Yes. Breathe. Oh, right. Right? right. You need oxygen. Yes. You need to be able to make noise. You need to be able to breathe. So we've got to get that hand off the mouth first. But this is what's beautiful about Krav Maga. It's using momentum. It's using instinct. You're being pulled back and our instinct is to want to pull away. But instead we go with and we use that to go in. That's why people, small, big, Older, younger, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to learn quickly, efficiently, and effectively. Okay, we're going to show one more scenario, and then we'll talk about your workshop coming yes. up. So we have a choking scenario that we want to show here. Yeah, which is actually one of the most common attacks on women. Okay. Wow. Absolutely. That was so quick. Tell me what so she did. Fast. Yes. So again, similar concept, right? We were dealing with she can't breathe. His hands are around her neck. This is deadly force. So she's got to do something and she's going to pluck and strike at the same time. So she's breathing and hurting him and then she's going to do what she needs to do to get wow. him down and get out. Okay. Wow. Good job, guys. Now you have a workshop coming up May 20th. Tell me about that. We do. So to be clear, STW Krav Maga and Fitness is completely co-ed from 7 to 70. And we also have a nonprofit called Dangerously Cute, Courageous, Unwavering, Tenacious, and Empowered that focuses on women and girls. And on May 20th, uh, 1030 to 230, we will be here focusing on women, sexual assault, self-defense, 12 to 60 plus. Got it. Okay. And we're not done here, uh, you know, pushing a stroller, getting in a vehicle, all of that. We're going to show you some more scenarios in the second half of the show and tell you about an awesome deal they have for you guys. Fiona, Mike, back to you. 
Thank you, Jen. Still ahead on SA Live, 16-time Grammy Award-winning musician and producer David Foster and acclaimed TV and Broadway star Catherine McPhee are coming right here to the Alamo City. We chat with the music superstars and how you can see them perform some of their biggest hits live. Plus, free breakfast at Whataburger. See who can get this freebie all week. It's our deal of the day. But first, Mother's Day is coming up soon. The local restaurant that can help you celebrate with a delicious brunch and breakfast menu. And we're debuting one of the items next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, treating mom to a delicious meal, that's an easy way to show your love, right? Oh, yes, indeed. John Vale, owner of Alamo Biscuit Company, is here to show us some of the tasty ways that you can help celebrate some of the ladies in your mm -hmm. life for Mother's Day. Quickest way is right to the stomach, right? That's yes. right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> sir. Okay. All right, what we are making today is going to be one of the newest items on the menu, and you are seeing it here first, right? Yes, so this Sunday we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll be featuring um, Bar the Barcoa Biscuit Benedict. Yes. Yes. Barcoa mm -hmm. Biscuit Benedicts. Look at that right there. And the aromas mm -hmm. in here, oh, are absolutely just, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So what we're doing right now is I got a couple of uh, eggs poaching over here, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. And what's in the pan? So we got pickled the guy right here on the pan. Mm -hmm. We're going to put two scoops of barbacoa. Oh. We're gonna let that settle for about two minutes. Okay, so we'll let that kind of cook. Do two and a half, I love barbecue. Do two and a half, I love barbecue. <laughs> and then you've got one of these, I mean, this biscuit, that's like three biscuits in one. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. Okay, they're what's big. your secret to your biscuit yeah. recipe? Well, they are baked fresh daily. Okay. Okay, but we can't tell you all the secrets, obviously, but um, they are very delicious. Okay, and not only just this that we're debuting, but what's that right there? So this is the National Madame, and this mm -hmm. is actually featured on the Cooking Channel on national television. So this is a very popular item we have right there. And what makes it so popular? Uh, I guess because it's so good. <laughs> 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 and, and you've got another type of, where is it? Is it over there? So this is actually what we're making okay. right we're now. Making right yeah. now. Yeah. And then you've got a chicken fried steak. Oh uh, yes, so we do Benedict. have a chicken fried steak Benedict. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Benedict. And this okay. is obviously the barbacoa Benedict right here that y'all are making. Okay. Yeah. And so while the eggs are poaching and this is going, it's the 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 hollandaise sauce. It's got a bit of a twist, yeah, right? Yeah, a little kick to it. Okay. It's bar you know you got to have a little kick to your barbacoa, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And for dessert, of course, while these are still cooking here, we have got just a plethora of little goodies on here. What yeah. do we have? So we, we have a lot of pandaria, pandaria items, <laughs> sorry, man. but um, so we have conchas, we have uh, cinnamon rolls, we have uh, oh. coconut rolls, and uh, assorted danishes and cupcakes too. What did I steal? Here. That is this, uh, one of our mm. cookies there. One of our Well, you ate most of it, you can't tell what it is. <laughs> Okay. okay, and you said your favorite item on the menu was uh, what you Chicken fried steak Benedict is my favorite, yes. Mm -hmm. And also the brisket Benedict as well. And, and, and it's not just breakfast items too, but you've got burgers and everything else with a little bit yes, of Yes, so we have breakfast too, right? tacos, we have burgers, we have chicken burgers. Um, and and yeah. the burgers you can get on with buns or biscuits? Yes, yeah, so you don't you don't have to do everything on a biscuit. You can actually just substitute it with a burger bun as well. Oh, yeah. So. Okay, what do you think? Pretty good. Nice. That looks great. Nice, yeah, nice yolk in there. So, yeah. okay, this goes on here, or does the uh, this go that uh, goes first? Yeah, let's go here first. So okay, go okay. ahead and I think that's about done right there. Pop that on there. <laughs> now you don't have any leftover reservations for Mother's Day yet, but for for large parties we're pretty full. But okay. for like you know um, mid-sized parties we're pretty much you know we got you know we have walk-ins too available. Okay, so if, if you want to go there, take your chances. Yes. Exactly. Or they ask for the uh, Smith party and you go, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That wouldn't be nice. <laughs> Although okay. I've never tried it before. So okay. Yeah. And then now get ready for that holidays, go. that special holiday sauce. And then we got Chipotle holiday sauce right here. Oops, so. I, my eggs gonna roll. Off. We can turn that off. Oh, don't yeah, don't yeah, roll off their egg. Off okay, right pop that on there, um, and I can't wait to taste this. <laughs> okay, and do. tell folks where you're located at. So we are in the medical center on Humner Road, mm -hmm. 9630 Humner Road to be exact. Yes. Ooh. All right, there, there we go. go. Right there. Throw a little um, queso fresco. Queso fresco, fresco on Got there. It. Let mm -hmm. me grab a fork somewhere. Hold on, I just kind of dumped oh, no. it. Wait, there you go. Okay. And then uh, some cilantro. Okay. Ah. Thank you so much <laughs> for more information. Right yes. 
on Alamo Biscuit Company. Just head to our website, salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. You're doing $10 mimosas, right, on yes, Sunday? Yes, so we do $10 champagne bottles every day, 7 to oh. 10 a.m. Boom. <laughs> now it's and, Mother's Day. All right. All that Hollandaise is great. <laughs> and next, one local business celebrates teachers all year round. See what they have special for Teachers Appreciation Week and how they're helping graduating seniors. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live here in beautiful historic Market Square. Well, as we wrap up the school year and high school seniors get ready to walk the stage on their next journey, the First Mark Foundation is helping with that big next step. And here today is Executive Director Marissa Perez Diaz. Welcome, so good to see you. You too, Mike. Okay, what updates does First Mark have on scholarship process and as you help support graduating seniors? Yes, so we're really excited. We are down to the wire on our um, grant on our scholarship applicants, and so we. We um, are very excited to share that we had over 25 different school districts, 44 campuses, and 75 plus applications. So um, on May 24th, we will be doing our final review of those um, scholarship applications. And then by the end of May, we'll, um, God willing, be announcing our winners. Oh, fantastic. And I, I, that's exciting. I haven't even applied for it. All right, teacher appreciation, local schools. And we know First Mark's got some fun stuff lined up to honor all the amazing teachers out there. Yeah, so first and foremost, happy Teacher Appreciation Week to all of those amazing educators um, in our community doing amazing things for our students. Um, so First Mark Credit Union, First Mark Foundation um, doesn't want to just celebrate teachers for one week. We'd love to celebrate them all year long, but we are um, definitely committing the month of May to teacher appreciation. And so um, this week we are um, actually gone out to, to visit over 22 campuses, giving them goodies and um, through partnership with Santicos, um, we've been able to also give them some discount coupons and oh, some wonderful. movie tickets. Oh, what a yeah. great way. Just that, that perfect little thank you that means so so much to them. So Absolutely. now school year, of course, is ending and First Mark works the year round to support school employees. So what do you have in store this summer? Yeah, so um, one of the things that we are well known for are our academic planners. So we are, um, are getting ready to get those um, to print and we'll have those in hand for our districts um, before the school year begins. And then we are really excited to partner once again with the San Antonio Leaders and Teachers to bring to our Education Community Teacher Fest. It's a great networking opportunity for um, educators out there that are looking to build community, that are looking for resources for their classrooms and so there'll be more to come on that, but that's scheduled for July 22nd um, at the Whitty Museum. Okay, and big question too, can folks still nominate their favorite teacher for KSAT Educator of the Month? Absolutely, we are always happy to hear these wonderful stories and, and go out and surprise our teachers. What's the reaction and, and what do y'all get out of it when you, you know, give teachers little gifts like that and you have the teach the Educator of the Month program? It's incredibly impactful to be able to see them in their element, right? I think that educators, we know educators touch the lives of every, um, every, every single one of us, but to see them in action and to see the, um, the amazing things that young people um, are able to accomplish because they have amazing educators. We're sitting in the studio with a bunch of beautiful students and their educators today. So um, it's, it's definitely a privilege that we have to be able to go out there with you all um, to celebrate educators, but um, it, it's, it's just one of the great things that we're, that's part of our mission. So. Well, it's wonderful. For more information on First Mark Credit Union and the First Mark Foundation, just call 210-442-0100 or visit the website firstmarkcu.org slash foundation. And of course, don't forget to nominate your favorite educator for KSAT's Educator of the Month. Each month's winner gets a $500 Visa gift card from First Mark Credit Union. Just visit ksat.com slash educator for all the details. Marissa, thank you very much. Thank Good you, to see Mike. you. Thank you, too. All right, next, he's created music with so many of the greatest singers like Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin. We chat with this music legend about his upcoming show and how you can see it live. You don't want to miss this. We'll talk about some star power coming to the Alamo City, 16-time Grammy Award-winning musician, composer, and producer David Foster and acclaimed singer and television Broadway star Catherine McPhee are teaming up for an incredible night of music at the Tobin Center and they are joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Hi, good morning or good afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> hi Mike. 
Hi, how Diana. are you? Hi, everybody. Hi, San Antonio. Okay, so this all got started uh, at home on Instagram? What's that all about? It did. We were in the heart of the pandemic, and as everyone across the world was at home, we just started, we just one day, we would live on our Instagrams, both individual Instagram accounts, and then we got obsessed and about 10 shows in a row, we were creating different um, genres each night and our I think our our banter sort of caught on. It became a nightmare though, sorry to say, Mike. <laughs> because we were doing everything ourselves. Um, because, you know, that was back when, it sounds like way back in the last century, back when, you know, nobody came into your home, you didn't go anywhere. And so we were the cameraman, we were the props, we were the lighting, we were the storytellers. and. Um, but it was fun while it lasted. But okay. now we're taking it on the road. So now that you're taking it on the road, then what can folks expect? Well, a lot of, um, you know, um, interaction between the two of us. We come up with different stuff every night. We're kind of acerbic, a little acerbic on uh, uh, on the stage. And we, oh. we, we get a little cranky once in a while. We do not get cranky, but we like to tell our story of how we met. Um, and our unconventional story. Our unconventional story. I was a contestant on American Idol. He was a guest mentor and how we've done a lot of crazy things together. But the craziest, craziest thing is that we ended up married and have a family together. So that's the, the craziest thing. But, you know, we talk about his career and um, and my career and how they sort of have intermingled together. And um, it's just a lot of fun. And um, we make a lot of jokes. And one thing that we do that's great that I love to do that I've been doing for years is I love to go to the audience mm -hmm. and get one or two people to sing. So if you're a singer, come on out Thursday night. And uh, if you wave your arm loud enough <laughs> and hard enough, you might get a record you you'll, get picked, you'll get picked. What, what if you're one of those people that thinks you can sing, but all your friends say you can't? That could, yeah. Even better. Even better. <laughs> Even better. We always right. like the overly confident singer. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, the best. Speaking of singing, Catherine, you're going to be performing some of your biggest songs from American Idol. Uh, what are some of the ones folks are going to be hearing? Well, I definitely, I sing Summer of the Rainbow, which is Signature like, st clearly the biggest song that I did on the show. And then we tell the story about how when I came off the show, we recorded that song together because the record label that I got signed to hired him to record that. So that's probably the biggest song, I only song I do from Well, no, we Idol. do. Um, the song that I wrote called I Have Nothing for Whitney oh, right. because and I did that. Simon told you to never sing to it To never again. sing it again, that's right. So now I have the clearance to sing it because I'm with the man who wrote the song. So <laughs> That always helps, yes. All right, yes. David, you yeah. work with some of the biggest stars in music history, Aretha Franklin, um, Barbara Streisand, Michael Jackson. Who haven't you worked with that you would like to? Well, I always said Stevie Wonder, and then uh, over the last decade, Stevie and I have been working on a project together, so that one's kind of, uh, that box is checked, but... You've checked every box. No, I'd like to work with Sting, and Sting, know, we know each other, we're friends, but he's just never asked me to work with him, so Sting, if you're watching in San Antonio, um, please, you know, it's, it's time. He, he's a big fan of the show. He watches all the time. We'll pass along the message. So, and Catherine, <laughs> uh, kind of switching gears. You have a jewelry line, right? I do. Yes, I do. Thank you uh, for asking. It's called KMF Jewelry. We're direct to consumer right now. And it's launched like this last October we launched and it's been, wow, I've learned a lot. And it's um, something I'm so passionate about That's and absolutely. obsessed with. And I like, I just, I'm loving, I take like my jewelry everywhere we go now because I'm trying to create content for social media and for the website um, it's an all hands on deck experience in terms of like just creating a business it's, um, it's actually a lesson to everybody who uh, uh, who, who's just, just passionate about something I mean for years and years I'd be like be like at midnight and I'd be like where's Kat and she's in the bathroom playing with her jewelry for like hours and time she truly you know, loves it layering she's, it and she's obsessed it. so it's a it's a good fit for her it is a good fit for me and um, anyway yeah, you can get some last minute Mother's Day gifts if you're watching. Oh, thank you for the ideas. I, I appreciate that. All right, uh, David, you're working on a Broadway musical on Betty Boop? I am, it's the uh, iconic cartoon character and we've been working for probably longer than you've been alive, Mike. Um, but it's finally coming to fruition. We plan on being in Chicago in November. And if all goes well, uh, we'll make it to Broadway in, in the spring of 24. It's been a long time coming, but it's a long, arduous process, but it, it could be a, a great payoff. I don't mean financially, but I mean just rewarding, you know. A nice um, feather in your cap. Yeah, exactly. Tell you one thing, 
we get the chance to talk with a lot of really big stars. They were two of the nicest people to chat with in this Zoom interview just the other day. And an intimate evening with David Foster and Catherine McPhee is tomorrow night at the Tobin Center. For tickets, we've set up a link on our website. Just go to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And my conversation with these two superstars isn't over. Tomorrow, hear their plans for visiting San Antonio and hear what music they like to listen to. We get some interesting and surprising answers. That's coming up tomorrow. All right, still ahead on SA Live from Paris to New York to California. Now a local designer is back home in the Alamo City. See the styles he has for summer and his big fashion show that's giving back to a great cause. And next, it's our deal of the day. How some lucky people here in town can get free breakfast at Whataburger. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this deal. Welcome back. It's time for our deal of the day. Teachers, you can get a free breakfast entree at Whataburger for the rest of the week. The offer is good from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., of course, in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. You've only got a few more days to snatch this deal. It ends this Friday the 12th. Our next guest has shown his styles in Paris and at New York Fashion Week, but he's brought his designs back home to the Alamo City so you can see the freshest looks of the season. Roger Canamar, owner and designer of Roger Canamar Designs, is here to show us his hottest looks for summer and to tell us about his upcoming show. Welcome, well, thank welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here. Thank okay. you very much. First of all, New York Fashion Week. Fashion Week. Yes. Tell us all about it. What York, was it like? It was an, an experience. It was uh, something pinnacle in my career to start with the New York Fashion Week, and that was really great. So I really had a great chance to introduce myself to New York, and uh, from there I went to Paris the following year and show at the Bristol Hotel, and that's been an amazing accomplishment. And again, they've been showing clothes at the Bristol for 60 years, and I was one of the very first American designers to show there. Wow, what an honor. Yes. Let's get into one of your designs yes. right now. Okay, so this is Hannah. Hannah's wearing a beautiful organza uh, coat with a beautiful jogger pant uh, made to order. And she has the beautiful Gazar uh, tank. And again, this is something that Han this, Anna owns this. This is her design that I did for her. And uh, just really, really beautiful piece. And again, you can take it down, you can take it casually, you can take it you know, dressy, and it comes in different colors. And again, we customize every item per client. So how did you get started in fashion? Um, 11 years ago, I started with one dress and a dream. I used to work for other designers, and then I decided one day to start my own, and then a few years later, I moved here to San Antonio. I did a show in Dallas, and they asked me, why don't you have prices in Texas? I'm like, well, I guess I, I want to go back home. <laughs> so that's pretty much how it happened, and I'm really excited to be here. And you're from, from San Antonio? I'm from San Antonio. I was born here at Santa Rosa Hospital <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. So again, I have family here, and I just love my city, and my clients have been wonderful, the support, and um, they asked me, why are you in San Antonio? Why aren't you in New York or LA or, you know, Paris? Or, and it's like, you know what? I live here. I love it here. And I want to support and really bring couture fashions back into South Texas. All right. And speaking of couture. And this is Lauren. Yes. This is beautiful silk organza off the shoulder blouse that we do. And it comes in different colors. And look at the beautiful pant. And it, it opens up with a side, uh, beautiful side uh, silk chiffon fabric. So this is done in crepe. You can do so many different things, colors. And again, you know, Lauren's not 5'11". You know, she's average height and we did this for her and it's all about fit and proportion so we customize everything we can change the sleeve you can change the colors you can do whatever you like once we have a consultation and you have a fashion show coming up right yes I do have fashion show May 11 uh, excuse me uh, May 18th mm -hmm. and it's for it feels like summer mm -hmm. at the veranda which will be great and then June 4th I'll be showing again at the Bistro 9 for uh, a, a Sunday brunch uh, fashion show yeah. so that's gonna be exciting now oh, this is Andrea look at this look yeah oh. this is an organza uh, cocoon bubble dress that I do at caftan and it's done in organza again can be done in different colors different fabrics um, it, it just translates in when you change the fabrication it translates differently again now she is 5'11 so this dress was made for her but again you know we can always it's all fit in proportion we can make it for somebody who's 4'11 or 5'2 it just depends on how you know we fit it yes and again with me depending on my shoes at any point shoes. of the day I could Absolutely. be different heights <laughs> And, then this is and of course, one last look. Lisa in my beautiful turquoise uh, coat dress. And again, this could be as a cover up for a bathing suit. Um, it could be a dress. You can line it and make it as a dress. So different things you can do with this. It comes in 25 different colors and great. All right.
right. Okay, and even the dogs can get into style, yes, right? I have, uh, yes, I do. I have hot dog couture, and those are all custom-made uh, doggy scarves for the clients that want to dress or they want something special for the dog for the holidays. So we do a different different fabrications, and we make it one, it's all one of a kind, and they're all custom ordered. Love it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Such a pleasure. The Feels Like Summer Fashion Show is happening at the Veranda next Thursday, May 18th. For more information, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, learning how to really pack a punch. Why learning self-defense is just the first step. How you can take it to the next level. Our Jen Tobias Dresky oh, is live. Keep it here. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, whether you're at the grocery store, sh parking lot, or jogging, you never know when you might need self-defense to protect yourself. Yeah, that's right. There's one place in town helping women with self-defense training, and it's something mothers and daughters can do together. Jen Tobias Drusky is over there at STW Krav Maga Fitness with more tips. Hey, Jen. Hey, guys. Yes, parents with their children all year long, right? You can do something like this. We're at STW Krav Maga and fitness. Jen, fitness. Tell me about the fitness part. Yeah, so we are actually a fitness facility, full-fledged fitness facility as well, because we have, we know that a 20-second fight for your life burns four hours of energy. 20 seconds, four hours of energy. In a fight for your life. Fight for your life. Yes. Wow. So our entire fitness program has been built around that idea, utilizing HIT training so that we train the same energy systems that you're going to need should you ever be caught in a fight. So not only are you getting the skills, but you get the cardiovascular skill and strength to be able to deal with that fight. So we offer tons of different classes. We have fist, we have kettlebell, we've got hit classes, cycling, all the things. All right. And now back to self-defense. You told me a very inter interesting st stat. Tell me about that. Yeah. So every 68 seconds, an American is violently attacked. But the interesting thing is that nine out of 10 times, it's a woman. And in this case, the self-defense we're going to show you now is really great for women and kids. Women and kids. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Wow. Awesome. So what you just saw was a bear hug self-defense. And our two lovely instructors are going to break it down for you and slow it down a bit. So the attack is coming from behind. She's going to take a peek over her shoulder and find an elbow to the face. And then look over and find an elbow to the other side of the face, catching them off guard, turning inward, and then taking that knee or that shin or whatever we can get to that soft part of the body and get out of the situation as quickly as possible. Yes, key thing to get out of the situation. Key too, things right? to get out of the situation. As Mono told me, admire your work. You know? Yeah, you right. know, it's, it's never about going toe to toe with someone. Yes. It's hurt them fast and exit. Got it. Okay, now another scenario with a stroller. We mentioned this earlier, so we have this, and then you have your stroller. Face it out. Yep. There you go. There you go. And exit, exit. Get your kid. Oh, baby, baby. Get your Can't kid. Get your yeah. kid. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I was prepared for that, but still, you get, you know, you feel you're never fully prepared, right? Would you say? I mean, you have. So here's what I would say. This is why we do what we do, because yes. you knew that was coming, <laughs> but you haven't trained it. So your fight or flight response, yes. that's what's going to come out. Yes. Why you come here is to train the fight response, yes. not the freeze response and not the flight response. Yes. We want you to fight because if you fight, you have an 85% chance or higher of survival of not being taken off with. So it's actually a really beautiful un unintended example of why you got to train <laughs> so that you train yes. your fight or flight to fight. Okay. I've learned a lot just being here. What, two hours I've been here. So <laughs> thank you guys for that. You have a deal for our viewers? We do have a deal for the viewers. 10 classes for only 20 bucks. 10 classes. All you have to do is, is announce, as I mentioned, this segment. That's it. Perfect. And again, the workshop is May 20th and that is Dangerously Cute. That is the Dangerously Cute workshop. You can find it on the STW website as well. All right, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you. Mondo, instructors, you guys are awesome. <laughs> thank you for that. And uh, we'll send it back to you, Fiona and Mike. I gotta yes, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. We'll be back. We want to thank the fifth graders from Harlandale ISD gifted and talented program for joining us today. Yes, thanks for coming, guys. Okay, now's your chance. Yay!